Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope you guys are as excited as I am. Happy Hallows Eve to each and every single one of you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe. Let's get into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2021 in regards to love and romance. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward and guide us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Capricorn in regards to love and romance. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Speak to us truth and only truth. Spiritual army, please communicate. Allow us to see clearly and concisely. Allow us to see even that which remains hidden. Let's get into your reading, Capricorn. Your first card here is the Ace of Swords. So there is some type of clarification, some type of communication that will be opening up for you. Uh, for a lot of you guys, this could be a message that is coming through from a distance. Or if someone has been at distance or... Um, not as communicative with you. Um, there's definitely communication that's opening up. There is, they're telling me there is a specific message that's coming through. Could be from someone that you haven't heard for um, from in a while. Um, if you guys are currently at a distance with your partner, some type of separation, uh, communication is definitely coming through in a week's time spam. Okay, so from now um, to next week, you may be hearing from your person. All right, your next card here is the High Priestess. So a lot of things happening, a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes. Um, this could be intuitively picking up. Um, this can also represent you guys having very lucid dreams or having dreams that are representing um, a lot of what's going on in the mundane, meaning in the, uh, you know, the third D. Um, they're also speaking here directly about a communication that's coming through for you guys for some of you guys this could be communicating uh with past loved ones with people that have passed on to the other side the spirit realm meaning they are physically no longer here um pay attention to that capricorn because they're trying to guide you through uh this process that you're currently going through you have two major arcana so they're talking about having the courage having the having the courage and throwing yourself out there uh doing things that you wouldn't necessarily do capricorn when we're talking about relationships um you've been through a lot of difficulties and through this process there is like a a cycle um for some of you guys you could have been experiencing a lot of like suppressed emotions or uh, even, you know, memories of the past coming back around. And the reason could be because of all the retrogrades that we've been experiencing. Uh, Saturn just recently went direct. Um, Mercury is going to be going direct as well on the 18th. So again, there is like this, um, this feeling of, I don't want to say nostalgia, but looking to the past or uh, remembering certain aspects of relationships or even with your partner or like I said if there is some type of separation there is definitely a uh, having a boost of energy um, being you know I want to say even if you felt at some point that there was uh, no turning back in regards to a situation that's quickly going to be turning around and what they're telling you here is be confident in who you are Capricorn uh, be confident in your power. You guys are extremely, you know, loyal when it comes to uh, you guys genuinely feeling something for, you know, your partner. You guys give and give. And one thing about Capricorns is that you guys are not easily to walk away from relationships, especially long-term relationships. It's like you try to continuously keep fixing and working at you know, what's missing in the relationship. With the strength card, what they're telling you here is, again, be confident in your power and know exactly um, that it's okay to uh, ask for reciprocation of the effort and energy that you put into relationships. Now, your next card here is the full card with the sun card. So there is definitely communication that will be opening up. Uh, if there's been a bit of confusion or a bit of not really knowing where you guys stand, uh, that's quickly going to be um, 
it's quickly going to be moving uh, rather quickly in regards to communication. I feel that they're coming back around communicating and being completely honest and open. I feel that for some for some time, the partner or person that you're dealing with has been having issues or struggling with communicating or opening up, or even if you feel like they kind of keep you at an arm's length, that's going to be changing. And the reason for this is because they're also having an enlightenment moment. They're also understanding what you bring to the table when it comes to relationships, Capricorn. The full card and the sun card is having the opportunity uh, to revisit a situation or to start um, having the opportunity to rebuild on something that is solid. Um, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, relationships is going to be taking center stage from now all the way to December. So there's people coming in and out of your life. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be a new person that's coming towards you. could be a Leo and Aries. Uh, Sagittarius type of energy but there's definitely someone that will be reaching out to you that is wanting to revisit the past because they're wanting an opportunity they're wanting to see if we can salvage this connection if we can work through this with the Queen of Cups this is being emotionally available and that's what they said they're coming back around or they will be reaching out or even if you are in a relationship you're gonna feel like your partner is very encouraging very understanding being on the same page this is directly speaking about someone that had been guarded for a while that will be opening up. They're finally open and willing to embrace the feelings that they have for you. So very beautiful reading, Capricorn. I want to wish you guys all the very best, and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.